Hello everyone, it's me, Lancer737, and today is January 29th, 2021, and I'm doing the daily reading from the United uh, States Conference of Catholic Bishops. Uh, it's Friday of the third week in Ordinary Time. The first reading comes from Hebrews 10, 32-39. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourself with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your uh, confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come, and he shall not delay. But may just one shall live by faith. And if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. He, We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. And the next reading is from the Gospel of Mark 4, 26 through 34. Jesus said to the crowds, this is how it is with me. I mean, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as, <clears throat> excuse me, it is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord the land yields fruit, first a blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle <clears throat> Excuse me. at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest plant, and puts forth large branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them. But to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Well, that is Friday's reading. I hope you found it enlightening. Um, it has a lot to say while being cryptic about it, because he is speaking in parables. But in short, what he's trying to say is, is that um, it takes a lot of work. It will be hard. But if you stay true to the works and to faith in Jesus, you'll be extremely heavily rewarded. And there is nothing greater than Jesus. Anyway, I hope you have a good Friday, and I wish peace with you.